In a move for a more online user protection, Google has branded Econet website as not secure. Another casualty in the Econet group is Kume.net website. Google warns that it is not secure. Mascom in Botswana also has been branded double A website with no secure connection. It is a risk. Botswana tourism has not been spared either. This is an Africa-wide clampdown on unsafe websites. This new internet security standard has impacted even Nigeria's Tourism Development Corporation. In Zambia ITS has not secure to contact Zambia Information and Communication Authority online. In fact Google has branded the Bank of Zambia website as not secure. It warns your data is at risk. This online security warning spans Cape to Cairo. The Egyptian tourism site is reportedly not safe. Hi. My name is Jerry Sikala. The first host talks about standards for Africa's e-consumer. Now I will sensitize and educate you about Google branding Africa's websites as not secure. The most overlooked change in 2017 was the global push to a safer secure internet for all users. Look out for the not secure warning when you start filling in a form on an unsecure website. The simplest way to know the website is safe to interact is look for the green padlock and HTTPS. A perfect example is webinder.com. Notice the green padlock and the letters HTTPS before the name. Notice the green padlock on quasi.com. This usually typical of e-commerce websites. With the new HTTPS standards even non-e-commerce sites like National Assembly of Zambia need security. Many national tourism marketing websites such as Zambia Tourism are branded not secure. A sample of government websites in Zambia highlights the gravity of the security problem in Africa. Africa's universities such as Cavendish University have not been spared. Students info at risk. To you the alert and discerning join me to talk about e-consumer protection for Africa.